What's going on people? In today's video, we're going to learn about how to use transitions or transition templates from Envato Elements. You just saw in the intro, um, all the transitions I use are from Envato. I will give the link in the description below if you want to use the same transitions and get a discount on your subscription from Envato. Remember all the content is fully licensed and you will be able to use it for unlimited number of times yes unlimited so let's get straight into it so first of all you come into the Envato elements website and we're gonna search for transitions for premiere pro okay so then you have different categories you have video templates you have stock video um etc etc um we're gonna go into if you right click if you click here on the right hand side uh to see more uh, you will get um, everything in this category. Um, so here you have different uh, transition packs. Um, I'm gonna actually go for the the glitch is the most uh, common commonly used uh, transition. Um, then you have some more common ones here. You have got Christmas. You have got others as well. I'm gonna download this one. Once you download it, um, then you need to unzip it and then we can bring it into our Premiere Pro project. So next what I'm going to do is that I have created a new project and I have um, downloaded some stock footage, um, which is also all of these are from Envato Elements. And I'm going to um, move them into my source panel. Um, and for the sake of this video, I'm just going to take about five seconds out of each clip and drag it into my timeline so that I make a sequence. Um, go to this one and take another five seconds from here. Something like that. Okay. Remember uh, to zoom in or zoom out you um, on the timeline panel um, you press and hold uh, alt on your keyboard uh, for windows and scroll up and down okay so this uh, video let's take another um, i4 the start and then we play about five seconds something like that and that would do for this one uh, drag the video part down there And the same for this one. Okay, so this is our basic timeline. There is no transitions or anything. If I play it now, it will go from from one video to another. Uh, there's no transitions. There's a basic, simple default transition, which is called the cut transition at the moment. But remember, we're going to use our own uh, transitions from the transition pack we just downloaded. So how are you going to do this? Um, what you do is um, you double click on here and you go to the transitions that you have um, downloaded. OK, so here's the transitions. Um, and for the purpose of this, I'm just going to download the whole um, uh, folder. Um, there are different types actually depending on what uh, where you download the the um, transitions package from um, it may have different folders it may have different project files uh, for now I'm just going to download all of them um, so that I have every types including motion zoom glitch light roll spin whatever okay so you just click on it this is the unzipped uh, file by the way okay I've already unzipped it um, the important thing here um, to note is um, you must ensure that you have import entire project uh, clicked and then you tick these two options create folder for imported items and allow importing duplicate media and then click OK. So once you have downloaded it um, your Transitions pack will come here into the project panel. Uh, what you need to do is double click on it, um, go into uh, these folders, and this was um, 
all the, the different types of transitions uh, folders in that uh, package that, that we downloaded. Um, you can change the icon. Uh, you can change the icon um, to look at a different view, for example, here, or you can change it here. Or you can change it to your um, list view as well so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to go into for example the spin uh, type transitions and here you have all the transitions different type as uh, um, what i would like to do is let's just go for this one um, and all you need to do is drag the transition and drop it between these two tracks and just remember to center it so that the the center actually comes on the center of these two tracks as well what i would also do is bring another transition which is um, a different type for example let's go to roll and i want to change the, the view from here um, you can also um, change it um, to, to zoom in or zoom out here um, and let's do another one um let's just go for um i don't know something like split uh, for example just look at the um how it looks like uh, there you go okay so we're going to go for this one um again the same thing bring it here and align it to the center okay and now you see the 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 red um line at the top this means um you just need to quickly render it okay now you played there you go and the same for this one okay um, in my opinion that was a bad choice of the transition because it didn't really go with the with the, the footage I had but there you go anyway it is just for the illustration purposes okay uh, let's try a different one maybe um, let's go back to the roll one, uh, sorry, not the roll one. Let's go to the spin one and maybe look at some other type of spin. Okay, center, left center, spin right. Let's do this one. Okay, all the same thing. Drag it and bring it down here. Um, the same thing, just uh, click enter to render it and then you're good to play. So that's your first one and now coming to the second and there you go that's the third transition so transitions are very easy um, they are impactful um, if you choose uh, the right type of transition for the right video or for the right footage um, you can also do it uh, for the still images as well um, so if you have photos going from one photo to another you can do this as well um, remember to check the the link uh, for the Invato elements um, and you can get discount on your subscription as well also remember to uh, like the video subscribe to your channel um, and make sure you share it with the friends and do also leave some comments if you have any questions and what would you like to see in the future videos um, and we will see you in the next video thank you bye, -bye.